Hi everyone, this is Carol Ann with Logan's Crafty Mama. This is my second um, Create Series class, and this class I'm going to be going over these um, first two rows of these gray buttons, and I'm using the Cricut Expression. Uh, I want to thank you all for the sweet comments that I received on my first video and the messages that I received. You guys are amazing. I, um, when I was doing it, I went really slow, and I thought I, because it's hard. It honestly is super hard to explain this so that everybody can understand it without going too advanced and all that. And the messages I got from you guys just, they rocked. I was told that um, I went at the right pace. Um, it was great. A lot of you guys learned stuff. Some of you guys said you were advanced users, and you learned stuff that you didn't know about. So I want to thank you all for the sweet comments, and um, it's making this go a lot better than I planned, because if I'd have got a lot of negative comments, um, it would have been hard to know that I had to keep going. But I'm excited to finish, um, to do another thing for my series, and to get that going. So, in this one, like I said, I'm going to show you those first two rows. So, um, we're using the Plant and School book, and I had the case somewhere around here. But I put it somewhere because I, I'm in a blog hop. Um, so check out my blog on February the 12th. I'm in a blog hop. So I've been working on the blog hop stuff. So I put the box somewhere. So I can't show it to you. But it is Plant and School Book. Um, so check that out. Like I said, I'm going to focus on the first two rows over here. And I know you can't see that, I don't think. So I'm going to just read it out loud to you. Most of them are self-explanatory, but again, I want to just focus on the first two rows, and then the next series, I'll do it. I'm just trying to break it down so that I don't have 15 different buttons, and some of you guys only need to know what one button is. So, here we go. The first button is your unload button. You guys know what that is. I showed you in the first one. It's after you load your paper, you hit the unload button, and it unloads the paper. This next one is set paper size. So I want to show you this one. I get a lot of questions about this one. So I'm going to zoom out and show you. Okay. This one you're going to need your Cricut mat and a piece of paper. No matter what Cricut mat you use. Um, I don't care if you use the Imagine Cricut mat, which is what I use with the funny um, lines here. Or if you use... The regular expression mats. I mean, they're the same size and everything, but you see the difference. This is the expression mat, and this is the Cricut. Um, this is the Imagine, and this is expression. But you can use the Imagine inside your expression. Just the mats. You can't use the cartridges. Um, the, the Imagine cartridges. But anyway, to do the set paper size, you need to always have your arrow facing um, your expression when you load it in. If you turn it this way, it's not going to work because it's something about it has to, it's reading the um, the mark. So it's going to, it may work. I don't know. I've never tried. I'm not going to say it won't work because I haven't tried it, but it's reading the measurements. So it needs to be um, facing, your arrow needs to go in. And if you try it and it works the other way, let me know, but I don't want to try it. So what I'm going to do is normally you use a 12 by 12 piece of paper or whatever size. If you know you're going to just do a little cut right here, you don't have to really worry about it if you know it'll fit in the area. But if you're not sure or you want to do um, a bunch of copies, what you're going to do is you have your arrow facing in. Over here in this bottom right hand corner, you're going to put your paper on your mat like you would up at the top, but you're going to do it in the bottom corner. So it's going to look, let me press it down, so it actually sticks. i got to re-stick it on that. So it's going to look like that. Let me shut this blind, see if that helps, because it's kind of, there we go. It looks like that, so you don't have anything up here. So what you're going to do is you're going to load your paper, which just happens to be this first gray button right here. The first one, well, you can. it just depends which way you're going. Hit the load paper button. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your arrows over here and you're going to move your blade. Okay, and then move it to where it's right on the 
um, start of your paper. And then you're going to hit set paper size. And it's going to tell you over here in the corner. that the paper is 8 and 9 sixteenths by 11 four, by 11 and 1 fourth okay and then all you have to do is let's just do the circle because it's super um, it's faster to do it that way and then you just hit cut and see it only cut it in the area that you had it. It didn't cut it up here, it didn't go off, and then you could do it as many times as you want it. And it knows that your paper is just that big. Instead of putting it up here, you can't put it up here and hit set paper size because unless you have like a 12 by 12. Because if you put it up here and you do it, it's not going to read it. Something about the corner it's reading. Okay. And the next button up from the set paper size is your button that says sound on and off. What that is, is if you have it on sound on, listen really good. You hear it making that noise that nah, 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 sound like a, they say it sounds like a, um, a cricket. If you hit the sound off, you can no longer hear that noise. You can hit as many buttons as you want. You can't even hit, it'll do it with stop, but the buttons don't make noise, so I like to have my sound on. Okay. The next button, the fourth button up, is your reset all button. And I get asked about this button a lot. What that button is, is if you're saying you want to do the shadow feature, and you hit the shadow, the V, F, E, W. Let's just make up some letters there. But you have your shadow, you have your paper saver, and all that on. Instead of going back and hitting that off and that, your paper saver off and all those buttons off, if you'll just hit the reset all, it clears it all off. It clears your um, screen over here off and it takes off any um, special feature over here that you may have lit up. Watch. Just hit reset all and it clears it right off and it clears your display off. Okay? So that's how you do that one. Okay? The next one is backspace. This one's kind of self-explanatory, but again, I'm going to show you. I'm just going to turn my Cricut mat around where I can use it up here so I don't have to do the set paper size, just to show you guys how this works. I'm going to load my paper. Again, my mat's not sticky, so my paper may move. To do the backspace, all you have to do is, let's just say I'm going to spell out, let's just spell out rat. Oops, instead of spelling out rat, I accidentally put R-A-T-D. So, I don't need that. I only want to cut out rat. All you do is hit your backspace and it takes it right off and your last letter it'll cut out is your T. Easy peasy. Okay? I'm going to go back down here and start here. Okay? This is your load paper button. Like I said, self-explanatory. You just put your paper there. And you hit load paper and it loads your paper. Your next button up is your load last. Okay, this one I'm going to actually explain because I get asked about this one a lot. And this one took me a while to figure it out. Okay, your load last. Let's say I'm going to cut out that circle again. Okay? And then you're going to hit cut. You're just cutting it like normal. And then we're going to unload that. I like the size of that circle, so I want another circle just like that, but I don't want to have to move the um, arrows over here. All you do, and you got to pay attention because I've messed this up several times before, instead of hitting load paper, you hit your load last, and it'll take you to right there. So then all you have to do is cut your circle out again. unload your paper. I'm going to have a lot of circles. <laughs> and there you go. And see, it knew it so it didn't overlap or anything like that. So now you have two circles. So that was your repeat last. No, your load last. Okay? So now, let's just do the load last again. So it'll take me back over to where I just cut that one. 
and again I want to cut that circle out again well instead of having to find your circle or anything else on there since I want to do the circle I'm gonna hit the button right up above it which is repeat last and it's gonna pull up another circle and again I'm gonna cut that out and we have another circle okay and I'll show the button I just hit you guys are gonna be like what did she just hit I'll show you that in next week's in Tuesday's video is it Tuesday's let me see yeah it's gonna be Tuesday's video because I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it that'll be Tuesday's video the button I just hit okay so that was repeat last now let's do the display let's say we put in let's just say Logan's crafty mama well I got too many characters but I got Logan's crafty mom um and then I said hmm you know what I don't want to cut out Logan's crafty mom I want to cut out hello instead of going back and taking the backspace button and clearing every one of those off all you got to do is hit the clear display button wipes it right off Clint, empty. It's easy peasy. Okay? And the last thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you what the space button is. Now the space button, I don't really find myself using the space button unless I'm trying to write out something big and the letters are getting jumbled up over here. Or if I'm using vinyl. If I'm using vinyl, I use the space button a lot because I want to have it to where when I put it on my transfer sheet I can put it straight on the wall or whatever I'm putting it on so that I don't have to try to match the letters up because I don't know about you guys but I have a trouble um, drawing a straight line with a ruler let alone trying to line up words and vinyl without help so that's why I use it but I'm still going to show you how to do it and the space button is your very top button um, the second gray button right here okay so all that's for is let's just say um, what could we write out let's just write out hey you we're writing out hey okay and you got hey over here but you want to write out you because you're gonna put it in vinyl on a cup or whatever you hit the space button it'll give you a, a gray little block and then you write you and it looks just like you wrote on a piece of paper you know hey you and you skipped it you know you do a little space so it's, it's just like the space bar on a computer uh, better terms instead of having a space bar you just actually hit the space button and you can just put hey you how space are space and then I run out of characters again <laughs> I make big sentences so that's what um, that's what that one's about so and then Again, I'm going to do a quick course over that. I don't want that anymore, so I'm just going to hit the clear display button and you're back to normal. So, so this first button is your unload mat. So, you unload paper. So, all it does is when you hit it, it actually un whoa, it actually unloads your paper. This next button is the set paper size. And again, you need to make sure, if you want to do it correctly, you need to make sure that you have your, your arrow pointing in towards your machine. And you want to put your paper down here in the lower corner. So that way it knows it can read it. And it doesn't matter if you want to do a little one inch piece of paper. As long as you put that one inch piece of paper down here in, the, in your corner. Let me use a regular mat because some of you guys aren't going to use it, that mat. Um, there's your arrow. As long as you have your paper down here in this lower right hand corner, well, let me see here. Yeah, it's right for me, right here. So as long as you have it down here in this corner, you can have a little bitty inch. Just have a little inch one and just put it there and then put your, move your arrow down to the, um, the corner of it and hit set paper size and it'll tell you it's a one little inch or whatever size you have. I love that feature. I use that feature a lot. Um, my mom has a Cricut, and she's had a Cricut for about a year and a half now, I think. Maybe. It may not have been that long. And she just recently, I showed her how to use it because she was cutting out those flowers she showed you guys how to make. 
she was cutting out like 12, 15 flowers at a time. And she was using the quantity button, but when she was putting it up here, it was going off the paper. So I said, why don't you put it down here, and then you can use another key, which I'm not going to explain right now. You can use another key, and it'll actually fill the page up. So that's what she does. She now uses the, this corner. So it really helps if you're not using a 12 by 12 piece of paper, and you're not sure how big your item's going to be. Because you don't want to put a one little inch piece of paper right here, and then cut it out, and your item be two inches, and it runs all off your mat. So put it down here, hit set paper size, and you can put a two inch thing, and if it's only one inch, it's gonna tell you, hey, you don't have enough paper there, so you can't do that. So that's what the set paper size is. If I confuse you guys, um, let me know, and I'll explain that again. I'm trying to explain that the easiest way I can, but that one's kind of a hard one to actually explain in terms. I can show you all day long. Okay, your next button, again, is to set um, the sound off. That just stops that annoying noise. You hit that button, and now you don't hear that noise. That's all that is. Okay, the reset all is if you're using your special features down here and you have them all lit up, and you have all this mumbo jumbo, wrote, you know, whatever you type out, and you don't want to go back and clear every one of them off. You just hit reset all, and it completely cleans everything off. So even if you wrote out something, remember that. If you write out, um, hey, or whatever you want to write, and you have these, if you hit reset all, it's going to clear everything that is on that screen over there. It's going to take it completely off. So make sure you don't hit that unless you know you're wanting to clear that off. Because it's going to take those off and, like I just typed in, frog. Well, there we go. I just typed in, you can't see it. Sorry. I just typed in the word frog, okay, and I have all these lit up, but I want to delete all of this, because it's not going to, if you hit that button, again, it's going to take all this off and everything on that screen, so you just hit reset all, and it completely wipes it free, okay, the backspace button, which is your very top first button over here, is where, again, you take out and you write cat, and you accidentally put an R instead of an S to make cats, you just hit your backspace button and it clears it off. It's just like on a regular computer. Simple. Okay. Your next button is your load paper, which is load paper. Your next button is your load last, which is, remember, if you cut out... Let me move this back, because this is the one that I use a ton and people don't realize what it's for. I cannot wait till I get my new camera. You guys just don't even know. Remember, um, repeat last is where you cut this, I mean load last is where you cut this out. You unload your paper, but when you go to load it, don't hit load paper. If you want to hit load last, I mean if you want to do load last, you hit load last and it takes you down there because remember that's where I had it a minute ago. So it knows that's where it needs to go. It's not going to take you back to your first circle. It's going to take you to the spot right after what you cut. So remember that. Um, repeat last is just going to be um, where I cut the circle out. If I hit repeat last, it will do the exact same thing. It will cut another circle out. Your clear display is where if you have all these things lit up over here, you want to clear that off, you hit clear display, and it will only clear out what's on here. It won't mess with any of your special feature buttons. And then your space is like your space bar. You put, hey, space, you. And there you go. Okay? So I hope that was helpful. To you guys and if you did not catch any of that if I went too fast if I confused you don't hesitate to um, ask me I had several people in the comment section below answer questions for me thank you thank you thank you I'm trying to respond to all my questions and all my comments on the videos but sometimes it takes me a few days so just bear with me um, like you guys I have a life outside of YouTube so I'm trying to take care of my family as well as make these videos for you guys so just like um, Bear with me, and, and I'll, I promise I'll get back with you. And if you send me messages, I'll get back with you that way, too. just takes me a few days, as some of you know. 
So that's it. Um, I got asked if I was going to show how to use the markers with your Cricut. All I have are the Cricut markers. I do not have any of the um, Cricut, um, the, I can't think of what you call them, the gel pens and stuff. I don't own any of those. Um, I tried to get in touch with a company about maybe sponsoring a giveaway, and I never heard back from them. So, um, yeah, so we're not going to do that. <laughs> So, um, I haven't tried those. So all I have is the Cricut, um, the actual markers that come with the Cricut, which I use quite often. So I highly recommend those. So I will be showing you how to use those once I tell you what all the buttons do first. I want to go through all the buttons and that way everybody can get use out of their Cricut. And if they don't want to know about the markers, they don't have to worry about it. Okay, so this is Thursday's class. So Tuesday's class, I'm going to go over... Probably these buttons or these buttons. It's going to be one set of these. I don't know which ones yet, though. So one set of those I'm going to go over. And then, once I finish all those buttons, I'm going to actually talk about the special features on your cartridges. And I'll be using several different cartridges. So when I get to ready to do that video, I'm going to ask you guys, um, several of you, what cartridges are better for you to use so you can actually use them. Because every cartridge has different features. Not every cartridge has the exact same features. So, in case you didn't know that. Alright, guys. That's it. So, I hope you guys understood what the first two rows are. And again, if you didn't, or you still just didn't comprehend it, or you didn't, whatever the case may be. But again, don't hesitate to let me know. Um, nobody thinks you're dummies. I can honestly tell you that because you're asking the question, and there's other people out there that don't want to ask the question that are wondering the same exact same thing. I've been there. That's why I'm doing this class. All right, guys, I hope you have a great Thursday and a great weekend, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.